Alright, the first race on day three is the Cesaro, which from New Markets, a two mile two handicap for 110 for three holes and up. There's only a six horse field, so it's quite a four, small field in the Cesaro, which this season. Haribo Turk, the number one for Davy Robertson, that's the favourite. Beam for Craig Beckwith, Darwin Starlet for Vinnie Gerard. Two runners from the Graham Clutterbuck stable, Archduke Ferdinand and October Breeze, and Zephy for Patrick Hogan is the joint favourite. Uh, there's six horses here at Newmarket, only the one bend to take and away they go and quickly away October Breeze for Graham Clutterbuck and October Breeze goes to the front just behind that, Haribo Turk was put in for a brief moment Beam is on the ones inside, that's the white uh, cap, white colours and the blue body the green colours in between horses is uh, Darwin Starlight on the outside of that is Archduke Ferdinand, the second of the greys in the field and Zephy is far wide at this stage for Patrick Hogan so October, October Breeze takes him along for Graham Clutterbuck from five horses in the line from the outside Zephy uh, on the inside of Zephy is Haribo Turk just behind that Archduke Ferdinand the second of the greys in the white red uh, green and red colours on the rail is Beam for Craig Beckwith and at the back of the field is Darwin Starlight but it's only about four lengths off the leader Bernie Gerrard's Darwin Starlight and that lead is October Breeze takes him along by about three lengths from Haribo Turk in second and those turquoise and pink uh, colours for Davy Robertson with the yellow cap on the outside of that is the second of the greys Archduke Ferdinand for Graham Clutterbuck on the road is Beam for Craig Beckwith the green colours just behind that is Darwin Starlight for Vinnie Gerrard and Zephy one of the joint favourites for Patrick Hogan at the back of the field got about 13 furlongs left to travel so a long way to go yeah as October Breeze leads from uh, Haribo Turk in second Archduke Ferdinand on that one's outside Beam is on the rail then comes Darwin Starlight and Zephy is dropped to the back of the field for Padre Gogan. So October Breeze, three lengths clear of Haribo Turk and Archduke Ferdinand, the two greys are together. Beam is on the inside of those. Then just behind those is Darwin Starlight and Zephy is now tucked into the back of the field as they approach the bend here at New Market. So the rain comes down and it's Graham Clutterbuck in the first spot with October Breeze, Davy Robertson in second spot with Haribo Turk, then now Archduke Ferdinand for the Clutterbuck stable, Beam for Craig Beckwith back in fourth. Then comes Vinny Gerrard's Darwin Starlight and Padraig Hogan the Irish challenger Zephy at the back of the field. So October Breeze and Oxley Ferdinand, the two Welsh challengers in first and second from Beam in third. Then comes Vinny Gerrard's Darwin Starlight and the Scottish Raider back in fourth is Haribo Turk for Davy Robertson and Zephy the Irish challenger at the back for Padraig Hogan. So October Breeze takes him along. Three lengths clear of several companion Oxley Ferdinand. They've got a mile left to travel here in the Cesarowicz. Beam is in third, then comes Haribar Turk. Zephy's got a lot to do just ahead of him is Haribar Turk. It's October Breeze from Archduke Ferdinand. Beam and Darwin Starlight together. Between horses, Haribar Turk is keeping closer for Davy Robertson and Zephy is moving up from the back of the field. Still this October Breeze takes him along from stable companion Archduke Ferdinand. Haribar Turk is travelling well enough and so is Darwin Starlight. Beam is also is being pushed along and Zephy's also going well for Padre Hogan. They all still have a chance here as October Breeze leads from Archduke Ferdinand in second. Haribo Turk is trying to move closer. Between horses, Zephy is getting closer. Pushed along now is Darwin Starlet and pushed along at the back of the field is Beam. And October Breeze, the jockey is pushed along for a stride or two to keep his advantage from in second Archduke Ferdinand. Haribo Turk on that one's inside. Zephy's moved up into fourth. Still being pushed along is Darwin Starlet and pushed along at the back is Beam. October Breeze has got them all in the stretch here. Yeah, has uh, gone about four or five lengths clear of several companion Archduke Ferdinand, Haribo Turk on that one's inside, then comes uh, Darwin Starlet and Zephy, it looks like the jockey of uh, October Breeze has run them to, right, rode them to sleep here yeah, because he's well clear with two phones left to travel Haribo Turk is trying to close ground on this leader, but it's October Breeze from Haribo Turk in second, October Breeze still going strongly with a phone and a half to travel October Breeze from Haribo Turk Darwin Starlet back in third and it's hard to pass Frost front runners in Newmarket in SO7 and October Breeze is well clear from Harbour Turk in second. October Breeze still going strongly. Harbour Turk is getting closer though. October Breeze, here comes Harbour Turk for Davy Robertson. October Breeze, Harbour Turk, Harbour Turk gets up to beat October Breeze. Harbour Turk wins from long time front run. October Breeze Beam was back in third, but the Cesaro which goes to Scotland. And Davy Robertson wins with Harbour Turk. October Breeze was second. Third place has actually gone to Vinnie Gerard's horse. Um, Beam is only back in fourth. Beam was actually third. Beam third, Don Solid fourth uh, for Vinnie Gerard and Zephy was back in first for Patrick Hogan.